Hi, this is Claire again with the Full Moon Cards and you might wonder what has happened. Five cards on the table with the Full Moon Cards? What's going on here? So, uh, at first I wanted to uh, put into this reading also the Earth Angel message cards from Amanda Clark. You might know her. She is a British artist uh, and I had drawn it already in the German version of the video, but I want to show you some of the cards. I hope you can see them well. Uh, she has a unique and wonderful style very uh, animistic, very drawn to the powers of the land, the spirits of the land. And it's, it's a wonderful deck of cards. It's a little bit close to kitsch, but I think in a very tasteful way. <laughs> it's always different. Uh, different. Uh, yes, everyone has his or her own taste and prefers different things. This is a motif many people might know from the pagan community. It's very well known. So these are very wonderful and dreamy cards. I really like her style. It's wonderful. So I wanted to put them into the reading. Yes, I'm a Smith Wade <laughs> tarot uh, nerd, but I also enjoy other cards when they are really truly beautiful. It's not uh, this is also very well known, I think. Um, it's not that I'm stubborn or something like that. Yes, very beautiful cards. I just wanted to show you. And where does this other card come from? So uh, this card jumped out when I was shuffling the cards. I try to make it a little bit more light. This is a nine of cups. And the nine of cups is a card, of course, of contentment. You are very... Um, in your middle, as we would say in German. So centered, focused, uh, you are very happy and you know how to have good and healthy boundaries. So this, uh, when I was starting to read the cards and for many years, I did not understand why are his arms so crossed like, uh, I keep you away. It's uh, This gesture is always a little bit about, uh, I keep you away and I stick to myself. and. I was always a little bit like, if this person is so content and so happy and so, uh, yes, everything is nice, no? Uh, then why this? And it took me many years and some life experience to know that being content and being centered and being um, happy and enjoy life also needs you to say no to some things to have healthy boundaries because otherwise other people will catch your happiness, they will catch your energy, like the energy vampire types and people like that. And you won't be able to preserve and to uh, to secure. Can you say secure? I think it sounds a little bit weird in English, but uh, to save your, uh, your happiness and your joy. Yes. So this goes together. Uh, it does not mean to exclude other people or to be mean or to be selfish or something like that. It just means um, I need a healthy boundary. Yeah, Like uh, we have a saying in German, good fences make good neighbors. And this does not mean to exclude others. It means like everyone knows where he belongs. So you don't intrude the other person. The other person does not intrude you in a way that is not wished. Yes. So it's just about, I mean, maybe about humans as very territorial animals, I don't know. But it has also a strong, we are here with the cups, this is also about the element. Water, our feelings, our intuitions, our deepest core. And it's also about preserving this, it's not just about things outside. Preserving your energy, yes, keeping it to yourself. And you can give when you want, but not when others come and grab. This is meant by this card. Yes, so this fits very well with the Amanda Clark Earth Angel card, Friendship. And the beautiful thing about this card is you don't need a booklet, you just need to turn them around. And here is uh, spend time with your closest friends and share joy, laughter and the lightness of energy. Laugh at your troubles until they melt away and you will feel light and at ease while surrounded by those who love you. With friends, you can share all that is on your mind with an assurance of kindness and love. Yes, and the affirmation is, I love away my troubles. And this is a very interesting and very important thing to me. Because often you have friends and you can talk with them about your, uh, yes, your problems, your uh, challenges. But it ends up with, um, 
yes and this is so bad and that is so bad and you are really talking about the bad side of things and in my experience i don't know people are different but to me it's sometimes difficult to find friends or people who love away things They are quite a rare breed, I think, because people are easy to get like a little bit agitated. I don't know if you can say it like this in English. Like we talk about this and we really uh, we uh, let our steam go, as we would say in German. Uh, and this is healthy. Uh, no, uh, this is not a problem at all. But not every time, because then you get focused on uh, talking bad about these things and on being uh, very like out of yourself very much uh, rage is i think too strong as a word but um i don't get the right english word now <laughs> it's like you are furious a little bit and you are talking about it and really your steam is rolling and everything so um but in the end this is not helpful and in the end this also means that the bad vibes rule your head they are at center stage and this is not a good thing because then you are not in charge Yeah, this reminds me a lot of the Asian approach of balance, equanimity and all of these things. Yes, this is very important and it's not easy. People are sometimes like, this is so passive. Yeah, when I'm angry, I want to say it. Rawr. Yes, and you feel in charge when you are angry somehow in our culture. But this is very far from the truth because the anger is dominating your brain so to speak it's like a spirit that comes over you and that is yeah taking you over and the spirit is the chief not you in this moment yes so this is a wonderful reminder this card to love away things to melt away things what a nice english expression yes like melting the ice somehow this is wonderful and those friends and people especially in our culture today are rare who can turn around the energy like switch it yes so maybe it's also a reminder to uh, watch out for people who are like this um, yes so and then we look at the regular cards uh, who mirror this also in a beautiful way uh, here we have the queen of cups and we already had this in readings it's sometimes not so easy to um, to have in such a general reading as we do this here to um, yes to have a person card what does this mean it's also sometimes a challenge in readings themselves like when people read for themselves or for others who is this so when you are a female this means this is you this is like a, um, in germany pl reading playing cards was also very uh, popular and there you had the lady of hearts in the decks so this is uh, cups and hearts are the same uh, and this uh, the lady of hearts was always the querent female itself so um, yes this means you and it means being really awake wide awake you are very aware what's going on in your surroundings this card is very um, grounded like you are grounded in yourself You know what's going on you perceive it clearly and you act according to what you perceive yes this is a card of being really conscious really conscious sometimes we drift through life sometimes we are on autopilot and things like that and that is just part of life too it's not a problem you can't be always like sometimes you are really exhausted you had a difficult uh, weeks or months or years going on in your life and this has not been possible but this means that this becomes possible and that it's more easy to be really focused in a good way not this over focused like oh i'm going to reach my goals i'm going to grab life and blah blah blah, blah. no uh, this has cal a calm and very centered energy <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> uh, a very calm and centered energy very focused very much in your middle as we would say in german yes so uh, you might be a male and ask yourself okay and me <laughs> and this card is also about you it's about your inner female or about the woman you love yeah if it's the woman you love it can also mean uh, listen to her advice listen to what she says it's important for you now and it has uh, important messages for you yes so uh, it's also if it's your inner female um, It is about really listening to your intuition, to your gut feelings. And I know from many, many 
readings with the cards for males that they often struggle much more than we as women to listen to their gut feeling and their intuition. Because we, uh, it's still in society men get brought up as children very different than women. It's still like that often. Much has improved luckily but it's still like that. And so many men have like they have to go through a wall of prejudgment or prejudices how you say in English. <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. Um, it's like a wall and they have to go through this wall before they can go to their intuition and really feel it. And in my experience, this is for men and women, it's uh, you first need your first um, moments of success when you see, oh, it really turned out like I felt it. And when you had this more often, your confidence grows. But there is, in my experience, no way to get around this. There is no shortcut to have trust in your intuition. It's really slowly building up and then you know when to trust and you know how your inner voice exactly sounds or your inner feeling, how it exactly feels. Yes, many people, they don't have an inner voice. It's more like a body awareness or like feelings in the body, like density, warmth, cold. Some people perceive colors or... Um, Feelings you can't really describe with words, but they are more dense or more light and they know which kind of denseness or lightness comes up inside of them when they are on the right track. So this is really, uh, it's an interesting study <laughs> of life to find all of this out. And if you are on this path right now, no matter if male or female, this means you will get, uh, you will get uh, forward, you will have success you will become better at this. It will become more easy. Yes, so our second card is the Ace of Swords. And this card is a wonderful card to plan, to go ahead, to make a list. Uh, yes, all of this. The Swords are rational cards. They like to think things through. They like to have a plan. They like to organize and all of these things. It's important to everything. Like in the spiritual field, many people are now like, ah, oh, the intuition and my gut feeling. And it is important. It is wonderful. But sometimes you need to make a plan. Yes. And sometimes things have to work out in real life too. <laughs> I mean, uh, these things also work out in real life. It's not that one thing is better than the other. Uh, the opposite is the case. Yes. When you don't have everything then something is missing. So all these forces should work together in the best case. So this is really making a plan going ahead and also it's fresh. And this card is, these two are like one meaning. <laughs> they influence each other very much. So this means if you are in doubt, do the new thing, the fresh thing, the thing that had nothing attached from the past or a long uh, story going on before it actually happens and uh, there are many influences and you are not really free yes so because this card is coming up again and the nine of wands is a card where many people are like uh, this card i'm sorry <coughs> i have a little flu i need a little cup of tea <laughs> So now it goes on the much talking yeah, and the uh, throat gets dry. Um, yes, so back to the cards. Uh, this card is often one of these cards when it shows up, people are like, uh, okay, <laughs> I don't want it. So you really have to look at this card to find out what it's good for because every card is good for something. And here we see someone who has obviously already experienced hurt. We are with the, it's very doubtful. You see the shoulders are up. This is a typical sign of fear in the body language. And he's having his big wand, like uh, he's holding it, like uh, trying to find some hold somewhere. But at the other side, we are with the wands and the wands are the element of fire. Lots of energy, lots of power, passion, willpower, knowing what you want. Uh, warmth also, no element is its own cliche. Uh, it's also about warmth and um, like this warmth from the heart, as we say in German, like you really feel well, it's nice, it's, uh, it's not cold in an emotional way, yes? And we see the number nine in a female element, like the element of water, this number feels very well. In a male element, not so much, because the nine in classical magic um, or ceremonial magic, where these cards uh, in the end come from, 
uh, the nine is the number of the moon and the moon is waning and waxing and it's away and it's full it never is onto one spot it's always changing and the element of water has no problem with this uh, but um, yes it's fluid it's like it feels like second nature to this element but not the ones the element of fire yes very focused very strong uh, much energy but now people could ask uh, and what should i do with this card okay we have heard we have doubts yeah it's a big doubt card and um, the element of fire as an energetic potential that is nevertheless there so what can i do with this and in readings and practical readings my experience is that this card very often especially with this card fresh new energy with the ace of swords and here we have this many doubts because there has already been hurt so these cards together are a very clear indication that you should really don't take the second round with a topic go to something new and fresh don't try again and sometimes this is very very difficult maybe this is about a relationship where you have been hurt maybe this is a topic a dream something you approached something that was so good and you really wanted it and you would go the extra miles you would try again yes but you would only open up a second cycle where you will lose energy passion maybe you will lose the topic itself yes in, which is not good in this context but by maybe later with a fresh approach with fresh people with different people uh, with different methods and things like that really new so these cards really mean learn from what you have experienced yes don't try again if it was bad <laughs> sometimes we really have to protect ourselves too and this is like this protection here healthy boundaries these cards today are really intermingled and you have to listen to yourself you have to be centered, you have to be in yourself, aware of your surroundings, aware of yourself. So these cards are like really one big card somehow or like one big meaning with different aspects and the cards show them to us. Um, this really means in this time, go for the fresh things, go for the new things, go for the things that don't have a long story attached to them because they are just about to start. Yes, new methods, new, uh, new approaches, new people, whatever. Don't work with things or people or situations or whatever that have brought you pain in the past because it won't be different with the next round. Yeah, you would have just wasted energy and um, time and maybe money and you would be very uh, dissatisfied with the outcome. And it's also like then you become maybe grumpy. Maybe you want to drop the whole, whole matter at hand. Maybe it's a topic you have a passion for and you want to learn more, but you encounter someone and things are going bad, like a bad teacher or someone like that, just as an example. And then you say, okay, this topic is not for me at all. But then a new approach, new structures, new plans, really thinking about it, really what makes sense, yes? And then you can avoid this. So this card is really like, don't go the second round or the third round or however often you have tried it. If it has, hurt, it has hurt you, you need a new approach at least. Maybe also new topics in your life, but uh, don't try again. It would just be a waste of energy. And there is a lot of energy. This is also the problem with this card. The many ones, the, uh, ones, the many um, like fiery energy, the passion, the strength, the power, uh, yes, this can also be a problem because this would give you the drive to try it again. Yes, I will go for it. I mean, I really love this topic or whatever uh, this applies to in your life. You really like it. You want it. It's important to you. Yes. And this is what sometimes brings us away from our healthy boundaries. And we go into the topic again, maybe with the wrong people or with the wrong approach. And then we get it again. Yes. And we have the headaches, so to speak. Yes? So, when we put all of this together, your happiness has also to do with healthy boundaries. Yes, if you need it, read about it. Or uh, watch videos or whatever, learn about it. It does not mean that you become a mean person, a person who just pushes others away and is not friendly anymore or something like that. Good fences make good neighbors. Yes? Enjoy your happiness. Don't let it, other, uh, other people take it away. There is nothing gained or won uh, one win you know what I mean uh, when two people are unlucky or unhappy yes 
This not, is not better in any way. So keep to your happiness. Um, or stick to your happiness. Yes, stick to yourself. Trust your feelings. Trust your intuition. Uh, be centered. Just be very aware of your surroundings. This card also means that this is very easy for you right now. Yes, it's easier than at other times. And please don't go for things that have or situations or methods, approaches, whatever you will know what this could uh, be in your life that have already hurt you. Go for something fresh and make a good plan. As unsexy as planning sometimes sounds. <laughs> make a plan, make a list, uh, have your ideas, what you want to read really rational from the head, from the mind. Yes, this is not so intuitive, but sometimes we need this strength and this force too and go for the fresh and new things. Yes, so these are the full moon cards for this time and we will see each other next time again.